Um, I think they're obviously very organized. They're well coached, um, very hardworking, very fit. Um, I think our biggest issue has been uh, it's been between our ears and make sure we show up, making sure we show up for the full ninety minutes this year. I don't think we showed up until there was you know until we were down two 0 and we woke up. Um, you know they kind of strolled in there, didn't really think they could beat them because they're too busy looking at their record. And last year I, I think we, you know. It's out the window, but we kind of uh, blew it in the first half, and we probably should have been up 4 0. We didn't take our chances like we should have. Um, game got a little stretch, got a little chaotic, and they put two away to our one. We missed a PK. But um, yeah, we've just kind of been focused on ourselves a bit. I mean, you know, we know if we don't show up that uh, we can lose the game. Uh, I think it helps us a lot. We have uh, not been very good in the day games on grass at all. I don't I think maybe we've gotten a, we got a point at Babson. I thought we played pretty well at Babson. Um, but I think we're much better on turf. Uh, it speeds up the game a bit, and I think we're, you know, night games, uh, they, the boys seem to get a little up a little bit more for, so that, that favors us. Uh, you know, I, I don't think last game we got frustrated. I just think we uh, we started behind the eight ball. We just didn't show up. We weren't there ready to go at the beginning of the game, and, um, you know, that game for them was pretty much a must win. They had to get points out of it because, you know, if they didn't get points, they're probably not here today, um, you know, training to, to play for tomorrow and we were kind of on coast mode at four or five and oh in the conference and I think they knew if we dropped some points they we'd still be in first and you know I, hopefully I've scared them a little bit and they know we're, we're not a lock for the NCAA tournament yet um so you know we, we're both in must-win situations and I uh I fancy our chances in that Whatever the score is, I think we'll be ready as long as we're there to start the game and see it through. I, whether that's one nil, two one, one one, overtime, whatever it is, we just got to make sure we're we're dialed in mentally. That's been our, that's always been our Achilles heel over the years, and I think we've gotten better at it. Um, obviously, only dropping one contest this year, and opposed to years past, dropping three, four, or five. Um, you know, I'm not really worried about the score line as long as we show up. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow at ten o'clock to see if we won or not. Um, but no, I mean, they've, they've, they've been through it all. They've been here, you know, the, the first year we won the regular season we won both playoff games last year. We, we blew it. And on the last day, finished third, had to go on the road, won two nil and came back home and went down early in the final and came back and, uh, and won it in overtime. And this year, hopefully, we, uh, you know, hopefully we can get two more wins, but we got to make sure we show up tomorrow at seven 30. Uh, you know, I, we've all, this year I've kind of went with bringing some guys off the bench that would, uh, bring a spark. So I haven't really kind of put a whole attacking lineup out there, I guess you could say. Um, may roll the dice and do that tomorrow, see if we can jump on them early. Um, but, I mean, you look at, we're, we're actually, I think we're very deep. So, I mean, you look at a kid like Rafi D'Souza, hasn't played much all year, then probably played 50, 60 minutes last game and came on and was arguably one of the best three players on the field in terms of both teams. Um, so, I just think we, we're always looking kind of for that spark. And, uh, you know, I think we're, if, <laughs> the further down I have to go on the bench to get it, I'll, I'll keep going. So.